Hi, my name is Eileen Mao. This is my one twelve turn project demo. I recreated the game as a whole. This, the game shows like a hole in the wall, which is basically where walls come towards the players, and there's cutouts in the walls, and then the players try to bypass the walls, not hit the walls, and not fall into the water. So for my game in specific, I use the Connect version two, Microsoft, and Pi Games. And also in addition, I just wanted to note that. I do have audio in my game. You can't hear it because I'm using the screencast o matic application or whatever it's called to record this demo, which does not allow computer noise, but it's just music in my game. This is an example of a music. Okay, let's go. It's a bit slow because I'm recording and running the connect at the same time, which is not easy, but here we go. See? Body skeleton. Move forward, to move forward, tells me to move back, move back, tells me to move forward. This is uh, so that I stay approximately around two feet away from the connect, and I use the depth sensor to code this aspect. There's two player, easy, hard, easy, hard, customize wall, play customize wall. So here I'm going to play the easy mode because I feel like it's the best way to explain my game. So here I'm hiding this better work. But, um, yeah, so I'm hiding in the wall, I have a score of zero, as you can see, I can't touch a wall at this instant, and bam, my score jumps to 1,000, because I passed. So here I'm going to do it again. Oh, you can tell, you can see it tells you when to get ready, and then it tells you when precisely you're not supposed to be touching the wall. Okay, so here you can see if I move too forward, my score will decrease. Move too back, my score will decrease. This is my way of ensuring that the players don't cheat by moving too back or too forward and then like trying to bypass the game this way. The main way I sense whether there's a collision is whether or not your skeletons um, hit the color of the wall. So if your skeleton is on red, you are definitely colliding with the wall. Oh, this game is definitely super strenuous for the body. Uh, I'm going to fail this one intentionally because I want to show you that your score decreases dramatically when you're hitting the wall, especially, yeah, you can see every moment I'm hitting the wall, my score decreases a lot. Yes. You can hear it. Oh, stop decreasing. <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, I want to say that there's a high score, which is stored in a dictionary for each level, and then there's my score. So if my score was greater than the previous high score, it would replace the high score. Uh, my hand's on the homepage right now, so it's going to go to the homepage, because it also uses right hand sense. There. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Demo the customized wall. So if you, oh, there's a couch in the way. If you select customize, okay, fist, none, open, draw, lasso, save. So here, my fist is closed. So if I open my fist, I can actually draw a wall as if it was like a marker or a brush, I guess. See? Pretty cool, right? Okay, this is a horrible wall, by the way. The one I'm drawing right now. Definitely bad. If you had more time and if the connect wasn't running at the same time as my screen was being recorded, uh, it would be a little bit smoother probably. Actually, yeah, it definitely would. But this is an example of a really bad wall, okay? So when I put my hand into lasso, which is like a cowboy position essentially, oh, it's like the Spider-Man position, it will save the wall as a file into my computer. So I'm going to lasso right now. Saved. Perfect. So, oh, what if I want to create another customized wall, you ask? Well, then you do the same thing again. Customize wall. Sorry, this collision thing. This is my sofa in the way. Okay, sorry. Okay, so, ready? I'm going to draw a, draw a heart, because hearts are good. <laughs> I'm lame and I'm bad at drawing. Oh. Ooh. Horrible heart. Okay, lasso. Done. Okay, if I want to play my customized walls, I select play.
sacrifice walls. Here you can see that wall number one came up and uh, it plays very similarly to uh, how the other walls are played. It's basically like if I like bypass it or whatever, <laughs> like I'm definitely not hitting the wall right now, right? So I would gain points. Yep, just like that, and this one is kind of hard, because it might be hard to sense the exact heart, since it's not like a fully drawn wall, or, or like a block of color, so I'm going to bypass this one as well, but like usual, you can see, it works just like the easy level. Oh, okay. Yeah, high score, your score. Uh, you can replay, this is a replay option. Whew! Replay, it just replays. And that's basically how my game works. Uh, yeah. In the two player option, it works exactly the same way as the one player, but it just tests if two people are hitting it. And technically, you can increase up to six players, because that's the amount that the connect can hold. And uh, it's just like images for those. And yeah, that's my game. Thanks for the game.